building on our previous YouTube of precision agriculture trial analysis, we're now going to examine a trial which is harvested perpendicular to the trial strips. In this example, the trial has been embedded in a variable rate prescription map of gypsum application. You can see there are four trial rates, 10 tonne to the hectare, 5 tonne to the hectare, 2.5 tonne to the hectare and 0 tonne to the hectare of gypsum applications. We're going to use an EM soil survey map to define our trial zones. In this case, we've got two high EM zones on the left hand side indicated by the red polygons and one low EM zone indicated by the green polygon on the right hand side. Once we've identified these, we can simply work with the trial outline and our zone outlines. For the purposes of demonstration, we've snipped out only the relevant yield data in the trial area. You may remember from our previous YouTube of guidelines of data extraction that this trial immediately has a problem. That being that the zero tons per hectare application in the white area is very close to the header turnarounds. It's been noticed on numerous machines that on re-entry to the crop there is irregularities of data capture by the yield monitors. For the purposes of demonstration we'll proceed, however the results in this case from that zero tons per hectare application strip need to be treated with caution. In the analysis of trials laid out in this format, we'll be using a number of run lines in the data analysis. You will recall from our previous trial layout of running parallel with the run lines, we generally only can get two run lines of extraction. Any run effect in that trial design will affect the outcome significantly. While run effects or different headers may be present in this trial, its effect on the trial results will not be as significant because we're extracting six to seven run lines per treatment zone. Because the harvester is passing across the treatments, we need to allow small buffer strips to ensure that the GPS points that we extract are entirely from that treatment. Occasionally there is errors in GPS settings in the harvesters and this can misplace GPS points. The buffer strips help counteract this possibility. In this case, we're using a buffer strip around about 10 metres either side of the treatment boundary. We then extract the data points inside this area within each run line and each treatment strip. This data with a snip out we can then record in a table for its run line, its treatment, its EM zone and its resulting yield. Once you've extracted all the data and entered it into your table you can start to make some summaries. Let's firstly consider the overall trial result. In this we're going to combine the extracted data yields from each of the treatment runs regardless of the EM zone. Here we've now summarized the averages of these into a single graph. You can see here there is very little difference between each of the treatments of 0, 2.5, 5 and 10 tonnes per hectare application of gypsum. We can also split our data extraction by each EM zone. The averages of these data extractions are summarised in this graph. Here we can see the benefit of replication of data extraction. Note in the high EM zone 1 it appears we have a yield increase from gypsum response. However the fact this isn't mimicked in high EM zone 2 indicates that this may be a one-off and is not a consistent effect across the whole paddock. Again we can do some whole run line interrogations to get a feel for the natural variation in data. For this simply select a whole run line running across the trial and the immediate adjacent run line and compare the differences in the average yield. This will give you an indication of what that background variation is. You can use this as a benchmark to determine if there are treatment or zone by treatment variations in your trial. The trial analysis demonstrated here doesn't use statistical approaches. The extraction process can however be fed into a statistical program to give this output and it would be recommended to seek guidance from biometrician in this process.